program. Lou and Jackie here being joined by our favorite attorney in Des Moines, Kim Bear, joining us. And uh, if you're thinking about uh, creating a business and protecting your business and potentially having some tax benefits, uh, well, then you are in luck because that's exactly what we're talking about this morning. Yes. Well, let's be honest, Kim. Yes. Uh, this is a phone call I gave to you or made to your office at the end of the year because with the new tax reform that's in place, a lot of people still have questions. And for people yeah. that do freelance work or kind of have a business but don't have an LLC, they're like, what's going to happen in the new year? So I was yes. calling you saying, do I need to start an LLC to make sure I can still get the tax deductions that I take every year? And we've been in communications about right. this, but let's talk talk about the benefits yep. and why people might need to think about this as we're heading into a new uh, tax season. Yeah, so um, with the new Trump law, um, there are some changes with regard to the tax rate that's going to apply to LLC income. Right. And uh, so what they've done is with regard to certain industries, and so you're going to want to talk to your accountant about whether or not you qualify, but with regard to certain industries, um, that there are certain industries that are excluded, but other industries, it's going to be a 20% tax rate. And what they that means is so if you're in the 28 percent tax tax rate you know 30 you know 38 you know if you're above 20 percent then you really want to think about being an LLC because you're going to get significant tax savings and again you want to talk to your accountant to right. see if it makes sense um, and what people of, often don't realize is that setting up an LLC is super easy I mean we normally can do it within about 24 hours you know we find out okay what name do you want to use mm -hmm. uh, is it going to be a one member two member um, uh, are you going to have have employees? Do you need an EIN number? So we do all of that and walk you through the process, fill out the forms, and frankly, once we get you set up, then, then it's easy peasy after that. You just need to go open up a, a bank account and make sure that you only use that bank account for your business. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where your deposits go. Don't use your debit card uh, for your business to buy your groceries and things that's, like that. That's, that's key, isn't it? It is key. It yeah. is key because, you know, um, what I've talked about before on this show with regard to an LLC is, you know, we, I like to see LLCs because it creates a shield. So for example, you know, in your situation, um, let's say that you're not an LLC and, um, and you're doing some marketing for someone mm -hmm. and uh, maybe it, it leads to a libel suit. I mean, that, that's the thing that would come to mind uh, first. Okay. So someone's suing you. If you're not an LLC, Jackie, you're personally liable, which means that, you know, all of your savings are liable, uh, you know, your house, your car, anything you own personally is now at risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you're an LLC and you're doing business as an LLC, then they have to sue the LLC. And so only the LLC assets are, are at risk. And so that's the reason why we like it, because it really does, pre, you know, it, it puts up a shield. But the problem is you can't just create an LLC and say, okay, there. All done, I'm protected. Okay. You have to set up the LLC and then you have to treat it as a separate entity. And that's what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have a, a separate bank account and you have to treat it as a business. And so, you know, for instance, um, let's say that the person who's suing you for libel and, and you're an LLC, uh, one of the things they might want to do is they might want to see your bank statements and things like that. And what mm -hmm. they're looking for is to see whether or not you're using your company money for personal expenses. And how are you you treating it in other words are you kind of treating it like a sham mm -hmm. um, and so that's why you know I teach a lot of business classes to people who are starting businesses or who have businesses and one of the big points I make is you have to make sure you keep your business stuff separate. Would you say that's the biggest mistake people yeah, oh, I think make so. as far as just the money side and keeping things separate? The money thing, keeping it separate. And then the other thing, um, I'm working right now with an organization that has several sub organizations and all of them, not all of them, most of them have lapsed. And so what that means is, um, and so they've been uh, d dissolved. Okay. If you don't file, you're required every two years, the Secretary of State will send you a little form that says, hey, you've got Are to- Are you still a business? Are you still a business? <laughs> <laughs> Fill out your biannual report, pay them money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. give me yeah. give me my dues. Another important part. Yes, pay them money. Um, and so a lot of times people either they don't get it or they blow it off. And so at some point, if you're not doing that every two years, the, the state will come in and say, you know, poof, you're dissolved. And it's called an administrative uh, dissolution. And so uh, we have people showing up saying, hey, you know, we've got this problem. And so, you know, we have to do more paperwork, pay more fines, pay more money to get them back up and running. 
So you just want to pay attention. So other than keeping your, your book separate and your bank account separate and then just filling out that biannual report every couple of years. Now, uh, something else that people might have right now, uh, possibly rental properties. Yes. Now, if they have rental properties, you suggest that they get an LLC. I, I absolutely do. And then, and then transfer the property, all those properties into the LLC's name. And that's pretty easy to do. You just basically need a quick claim deed. And that's something else that we can do. I think the fee for that's like 50 bucks or something. So let's say that you own two or three rental houses um, and they're all in your name and you know that one of the people has you know a vicious dog and that vicious dog and you knew it and the vicious dog attacks somebody um, you might be sued and if you're not an LLC you're gonna be sued personally because you knew about the vicious dog you didn't take any steps to make sure that you know it was on a leash or that there was a fence or because it was your property because it was your property okay. or you know let's say I mean you know we had a situation where some steps were repaired um, um, not properly and somebody fell actually fell down the steps steps and died from a head oh, injury no. oh, geez. and you know needless to say we were suing the landlord personally because he owned the building and he wasn't an LLC and that particular person owned several businesses and so there was a lot of assets to go after so it just is really important and the other thing about the LLC setting them up is it's pretty cheap it's about four hundred dollars that includes the um, the fifty dollar filing fee mm -hmm. and like I said um, one of the benefits of using a lawyer and you know so you can call around if you already have a lawyer call your lawyer and find out what he or she will charge you mm -hmm. um, but one of the f benefits of um, using a lawyer is number one we're going to make sure everything gets done properly we're going to make sure that we work with your accountant to find out whether or not you need an EIN tax number uh, we're going to um, explain to you how the biannual process works and that's something you don't need a lawyer to fill out I mean that's something we'll say hey you got to pay attention sometimes it comes to us and then we'll call the client and say hey do you just want us to send it to you because here's how you can do it or you can pay us and we'll do it so mm -hmm. But it's, that simple, but it's a simple thing you it's can do because you, you mentioned for the rental property thing, mm -hmm. for example, uh, they can come after everything that you own. Exactly. All your other rental properties. Wow. I mean, so everything that you own. So so you really, um, the, the two things I talk to people about are um, setting up an LLC and insurance. You need to make sure that you have adequate insurance. You know, if you don't have a million dollar policy, then make sure that you, you get an umbrella. Mm -hmm. And, mo you know, an umbrella policy a lot of times is two or three hundred dollars for the year. So right. it's just worth it because um, then you're protected. So. And get the advice too. I was going to yeah. say, like you said the word many times this morning, protect yourself, but also yeah. if you're looking for tax purposes, something you might want to check out. So talk to a great lawyer in town, considered one of the best of, as of City View yeah. announced. Yeah. Uh, make sure you talk to Kim <laughs> and her amazing team. And if they need to turn it around quick, folks, they will. They're, they have a great staff over there. If people want to get in touch with you, talk more about yeah. this situation like I did with you at the end of last year. How can they get in touch with you, Kim? Yeah, just give us a call at 279-2000. Um, we're more than happy to sit down with people, have a cup of coffee. We don't, don't charge you for that initial meeting so we can figure out if we can help. There exactly. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Kim. Guys. It's 738 right now and we will be right back. You're watching CW Iowa Live in West Des Moines.